Now the final aspect you need to be familiar with is providing feedback and reporting advice. So there are various mechanisms around formative assessment that you'll go through in providing advice back to your students on how they've conducted themselves on various tasks. Some of that will be written advice that you write or provide them back on items that they've submitted. Um, some of it will be verbal advice where you just talk through with your students how they performed and how they could improve. Now some of that will be done individually with individual students, some of it will be done with the whole class or various groups. You may have teams working through a project where you'll provide feedback as they progress through various stages of a project and you provide advice back to them in that respect. So there are a whole range of different characteristics of effective feedback. Um, you can read about those, making sure that it's ongoing, um, individualised, specific to what's happening in terms of their learning. Um, it's clear and timely and collaborative and delivered in a way that's supportive. So the whole um, sort of thing on TV shows with teachers embarrassing students in uh, pointing out where they've failed or done poorly on assessment tasks are obviously not things that you should be engaging with in providing effective feedback. So look at that, those effective feedback guides and we'll discuss those in the tutorial. Now the other aspect of feedback in a more formal way is reporting. Now this is one aspect of teaching that is uh, quite confronting to beginning teachers. Having to report to parents and particularly through the parent-teacher interview process have parents question um, you on what you've reported about their child. So there are various mechanisms around reporting and they tend to be formalised. More and more now we have comment banks and we um, standardise the responses that go back to parents. And again, it's another entire language that you will learn, um, the language of reporting. And teachers understand all the, these nuances of what the different terms mean and different phrases mean. And we hope that parents pick up on them and understand the, um, the multiple meanings that uh, the phrases that we can utilize to describe a child's performance may represent. But to try to make that more uniform and clearer to parents rather than being idiosyncratic to individual teachers and how they write, it's become more and more standardized. And many schools now have a set uh, comment bank I was in a school where comments, reporting comments, went through five different checks at different levels before they were released to parents. Um, and even with those checks, which were mostly to pick up whether or not the comments were positive and supportive and weren't going to have irate parents, um, there were even instances where a spelling mistake got through and hundreds of uh, report cards had to be destroyed and reprinted um, to ensure that those um, communications to parents reflected the school in the best possible light. So reporting is a very um, complex process and again you will receive support around that from your head of department and your peers as a beginning teacher but seek that assistance. Um, it will be confronting when you first have to report to parents and craft your report comments uh, but it is again something you're going to become quite familiar with as a teacher. You'll do it multiple times each year and it is time consuming. It takes several days to um, prepare all of your reports, but it is an important aspect of teaching. So again, there's some guidelines um, on uh, conducting these and we'll discuss in the tutorial more detail about those processes.